Hey, look, there it is. Well, let me make sure I got the right microphone going over here. And there, that should be better. How's everybody doing this morning? Sorry about that. One of those things that happen. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where you get your daily dose from me, the unashamed nonconformist. I hope you have had a fantastic week so far. It is Wednesday at noon today. We'll be halfway through the work week. You got half your stuff done for this week? I don't know, but I bet you're going to think about it now. Hey, do me a favor. When you get here, do what Joe just did. Leave a comment there. Say hi. Let me know that you are here. I'm going to put the challenge back out there again. One of you's got to knock Joe off the throne here. He is the first one to say good morning every morning. So I'm just going to put it out there. One of y'all has to take care of that. Don't make me find one of these $10 gift cards laying around here to give away for that. Just saying. Hey, if you are listening on iTunes, Stitcher, tune in any of those venues, or maybe you're watching on YouTube, which is okay also, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That gets you to the live stream on Facebook, where you can join in the conversation, say good morning, read the comments, leave a comment, get a comment back from me. All those things um, are there. All right. So this morning, I want to ask you, and I, I didn't even put a title in today's show. That's how pff, scattered things are for me this morning. This morning, because I've been obsessed about something else. But this morning's topic is obsession, right? I've got, uh, I found this article. Let's see where this was. On Entrepreneur Magazine. Ten obsessions you need to have to become a self-made millionaire. And... Uh, so I'm reading through these and I'm like, okay, these are pretty good. Oh, that one's really good. Yeah, okay. But the thing that struck me about them, uh, just kind of looking back through them in, in retrospect and, and analyzing them, was the word obsession. You know, very often culturally, we kind of get this, apply this negative stigma to the word obsession. Oh, he's just obsessed. Ah, oh, they're obsessed with so and so. It can't, I mean, obsession is an all-consuming focus, right? So it's like you forget to put titles in your video that you do every day. Or you, I mean, it, it's, it's that level of focus on some outcome. It is, is obsession like that bad when you're trying to produce a result, when you're trying to build a business, when you're trying to get, you know, improve yourself, get a better job, get a promotion? Is, it, it, is obsession a bad thing? We'll leave that laying there for a minute, let you think about that. While I get a sip of coffee. I would submit to you that obsession, not only is obsession not a bad thing, it is a necessary thing. Yes, I know I got that from this article. But I've, I, I agree with that for this reason. There's lots of axioms and lots of sayings that prove this out or, or that support this. I don't prove it out. But the point is this, and this is what I want to get across today. If you want to create a result that other people don't have, you need to do things that other people don't do. Everybody can sit around. There's, this, there's a fantastic thread running right now on Facebook, a conversation about a question that somebody here in town posed. Tons of Fabulous comments on it, and an equally um, an equal amount of terrible comments on it, and the terrible com comments are all negative. Well, we can't do that because of this. Well, if you know the city would just do this. Well, if so and so would do it, if they'd stop doing this and start doing this, then I'd be able to do. Existence proof, people. If other people are able to do it, you can too. There's nothing special about them other, other than they execute and you don't. That's it. So if you want to sit around and spend all your time moaning and complaining on Facebook, knock yourself out. That ain't going to get it done. 
I'm just saying, right? Be obsessed about the outcome because in order, I'll say it again, in order for you to get results that other people don't, you have to do things that other people won't. It, I mean, it's not any more complicated than that. If you want to call that obsession, great. Be obsessed. I mean, I'm, I, I usually call it being on a tear or, you know, something like that. I'm on a tear right now about the one particular project that I'm working on, almost to the point of irritating other people when I bring it up. That's how I know I'm on the right track. That's what being obsessed means. And if obsession means getting the result that you're looking for, man, I'm all about it. Go forth and be obsessed. You have my blessing. All right, that's it for the day. Here's the question for you. When you think about the result that you want, are you obsessed about it? Or you just say, oh, I'd be nice to have. Which one applies to you? All right, it's Wednesday. That typically means coffee shop show. I'm only about 50-50 that the coffee shop show is going to be pulled off today. Eric is out of town, and I'm not sure I've got all the passwords and settings to make it work. I'm going to try and get that figured out. But uh, you can tune in. What time is that? 9 o'clock to do the coffee shop show. Oh, oh, check this out. I went by the coffee shop yesterday to get a cup of coffee. Look what I found. The t-shirts are in. So uh, there's my t-shirt, my extra large orange tie-dyed t-shirt. So I'll be looking forward to seeing that. Hey, uh, whether the coffee shop show is pulled off today or not, I'll be back here again in the morning, Thursday morning. Another installment of seven minutes in the morning. And hey, I want to mention, I did this a couple of weeks ago and I've forgotten to do it again. If you would like to help support what goes on here, help put a few dollars uh, in the bank to cover the cost of putting on this show every morning, I would be forever grateful. The easy way you can do that is to go to TomRigsby.com slash shave. That gets you to the Dollar Shave Club offer just for my listeners. One dollar gets you started. And uh, get your first month's, get your, your razor handle and your first month's worth of blades. I got a little sample box in there. Uh, boy, primo stuff. Be sure and check that out, and uh, I will appreciate that. All right, that's it for today. Going to wrap it up. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Talk to you tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I will <coughs> if this goes away. <laughs> Y'all take care. All right. I forgot to say hellos. Ah, this is bonus time on the show. Hey, Jeff. Glad you're here this morning also. All right, now, that's it. I already said hi to Joe. See you all in a little bit.